on YouTube and Facebook. Chapter 6 The Gate of Tekka Hara, the fifth division of the Tuat. The boat of the sun has passed through the fourth division of the Tuat, arrives at the gateway, which leads to the fifth division. This gateway is similar to that which guards the fourth division and is guarded by nine gods who are depicted as the fourth company at the entrance of the corridor and it in its exit stands a jackal headed god the former being called Au and the latter Tekmi each is said to extend his arms and hands to Ra the corridor is swept by flames of fire as before the gateway is called Arit, in the text say, The great God cometh to this gateway, and entereth in through it, and the gods who therein acclaim him, the nine gods say to Ra, Ra Haru Kuti unfoldeth our door, and openeth our gateways. Hell, Ra, come through to us, O great God, Lord of hidden nature. The monster serpent which stands on his tail and guards the gateway is called Teku Hura. Teka Hura. And the two lines of text which refer to his admission of Ra read. He who is over this door open to Ra Sa saith to Teka Hara, Open the gate to Ra, unfold the door to Ketu Kuti, that he may send light into the thick darkness and may make his radiance illumine, illumine the hidden habitation. The door is shut after the great God hath close, close, hath closed upon him. In the middle of the division, we see the boat of Ra being towed on its way by four gods of the Tuat. The god is in the same form as before and stands in a shrine, in a shrine enveloped by Mahin Sa, stands in the bow and Heka at the stern. In front of those who tow the boat are nine shrouded gods with, proje with projecting elbows. Each of these hold in his hand hands a part of the body of a long slender serpent. And the god is called those who hold Inuchi. In front of these are twelve bearded beings who are advanced, advancing towards a god who is styled the god of his angel angle. The twelve gods are described as Ba'u, Reth, Amu, Tuat, i.e. the soul of the men in the Tuwa, the texts read, The God of the Tuwa draw along this great God, and he journeyeth through the hidden place. Ra saith, Draw ye me along, O ye gods of the Tuwa, and sing praises unto me, O ye who are at the head of the stars. Let your cords be strong or vigorous, and draw ye me along, employing them. And let your hands and arms be steady, 
Let there be speed in your legs. Let there be strong intent in our souls. And let your heart be glad. Open ye a, prosper, a, pros, a prosperous way into the chambers. Girty or hidden things of hidden things. The text relating to the bearers of the serpents of the serpent read. Those who are in this scene carry this serpent. Ra striketh them and advanceth towards them to make himself to rest in the gateway called Nep Ahahu. This serpent traveleth as far as it, i.e., this gateway, but, the, but he passeth not beyond it. Ra saith unto them, Strike the ye, the serpent, and Uchi. There, give him no way whereby to escape, so that I may pass by you. Hide your arms, destroy that which you guard, protect that which cometh into being from my forms, and tie ye up, or fetter, that which cometh into being from my strength. Their food consists of the hearing of the word of this God, and offerings are made to them from the hearing of the word of Ra in the Tuat. Unto those who have spoken what is right and true upon the earth, and who have magnified the form, forms of the God Ra saith, Praise shall be sung unto your soul, and there shall be breath to your nostrils. There shall be to your joints in second aru that which shall be indeed yours as what belongeth to the Mahati gods. The habitations which shall be yours shall be or are at the corner where life those who are with me who weigh words for them. Their food is of bread cakes and their drink of chesser, chesseret drink. And their libations are of cool water. Offerings are made unto them upon the earth as to the god Tebi, according to what should be offered unto them. saith unto this God, Let him that is over his corner, Heru Quinbet, cry out, and those souls who are right and true and divine, make them sit at peace in their habitation at the corner of those who are with me. On the right hand of the path in the fifth division of the Tuat are twelve male beings bowing in adoration. They are described as those who make adoration, adorations in the Tuat. Twelve male beings who bear in their hands a cord of measuring plots of ground and estates. These are called holders of the cord in the Tuat. Four gods standing upright, each holding the symbol of life in his right hand and a scepter in the left. The passage in the text which reads to the adorers reads, These are they who make song to Ra in Amentet and exalt Haru Kuti. These are they who knew Ra upon the earth and who made offerings unto him. Their offerings are in their place, and their glory is in the holy place of Amit. 
They say unto Ra, Come thou, O Ra, progress through the Tuat. Praise be thee, enter thou among the holy places with the serpent Mehen. Ra saith unto them, There are offerings for you, O ye who made offerings. I am content with what ye did for me, both when I used to, sh to shine in the eastern part of heaven, and when I was sinking to rest in the chamber of my eye. Their food is of bread cakes of raw, and their drink is of the chesser drink, and their libations are made of cool water, and the offerings are made unto them on the earth in return for the praising which they make unto Ra in Amint. The passage in the text which refers to the holders of the measuring cord reads, These are they who hold the measuring cord in Amint, and they go over there with the fields of the Ku, i.e. the beautified spirits. Ra saith, saith to them, Take ye the cord, draw it tight, and mark out the limit or passage of the fields of Amentet, the Ku whereof are in your abodes, and the gods whereof are in your thrones. The Ku of Netur are in the fields of peace, and each who hath been judged by him that is in the court. Righteousness is to those who are, i.e., who exist, and unrighteousness to those who are not. Ra saith unto them, What is right is the court and a myth, and Ra is content with the stretching or drawing of the same. Your possessions are yours, O ye gods, your homesteads are yours, there may be sand with you. Hell journeying on, O Kuti, for verily the gods are content with that which they possess, and the Ku are content with their homesteads. Their food cometh from Sekhet Aru and their offerings from that which springeth up therein. Offerings are made unto them upon the earth of the estate of Sekhet Aru. To the four bare gods of Ra saith, Holy are you, O Henbi gods, ye overseers of the cords of a mint. O establish ye fields and give them to the gods and to the Ku, i.e. spirits, after they have been measured in Saket Aru. Let them give fields and sand to the gods and to the souls who are in the Tuai. Their food shall be from Saket Aru and their offerings from the things which spring forth therein. On the left of the path of the boat of Ra are a hawk-headed god. Leaning upon his staff, he is called Horus. Four groups, each group containing four men. The first is Reth. The second is Amu. The third is Nehesu. And the fourth is Themehu. The, the Reth are Egyptians, the Amu are dwellers in the desert to the east and northeast of Egypt, and Nehesu are the black races and Negros, and the Tehimu is the fair skinned Libyans. Twelve bearded beings, each of whom grasp with both hands the body of a long serpent. 
These are called the holders of the period of mint. Eight bearded gods who are called the sovereign chiefs of the Tuat. The hieroglyphic text which relates to these groups read, reads the passages which refer to the four groups each containing four men reads Horus say unto the creatures of Ra who dwell in the black land Kemp i.e. Egypt and in the red land i.e. the desert which lies on east side of the black land formed of the mud of the Nile magical protection be unto you O ye creatures of Ra who have come into being from the great one who is at the head of heaven let there be breath to your nostrils let your linen swatherings be up unloosed ye are the tears of the eye of my splendor in your name of wrath i.e. men mighty of the issue Amu ye have come into being in your name of Amu the Sekhet hath created them and it is she who dwelleth or avengeth their souls I, I masturbated to produce you, and I was content with the hundreds of thousands of beings who came forth from me in your name of Nehesu, i.e. Negros. Horus made them come into being, and it is he who avenges their soul. I sought out my eye, and ye came into being in your name of Themahew Sekhet hath created them, and she avenges their, avengeth their souls. The passage which refers to the gods who make stable and the period of life. Karu Ahu M. Ament reads Those who make firm or permanent the duration of life establish the days of the souls in Amenti and possess the word or command of the place of destruction. Ra saith unto them, Since ye are the gods who dwell in the Tuat and who have possession of the serpent Metri, utilizing whom ye Meti out the duration of life of the soul who are in the Amenti, who are condemned to destruction. Destroy ye the souls of the enemies according to the place of destruction which ye are commanded to appoint, and let them not see the hidden place. The passage in the text which refers to the divine sovereign chiefs read, here are the divine sovereign chiefs who stand, who shall destroy the enemies. They shall have their offerings through the word, which becometh Ma'at. They shall have their op op oblations upon the earth using the word which cometh Ma'at. And it is they who destroy the, the destroy and who pass the edict concerning literally right the duration of the life of the souls who dwell in Amenti. The destruction which is yours shall be directed against the enemies, and the power to right which ye possess shall be for the place of destruction. I have come, even I, the Great One, Horus, that I may make a reckoning with my body, and that I may soothe forth evil against my enemies. Their food is bread, and their drink is the chessert wine, and they have cool water wherewith to refresh or bathe themselves.
offerings are made to them upon the earth, one doth not enter into the place of destruction.